today's video is gonna be about my five genius tricks to cover up your bald spots. That's right, bald spots. <laughs> I've tested these methods on myself, and of course I've had other people say that this stuff works too. You might already even have some of this stuff in your kitchen cabinet or even your like makeup drawer. And of course if you don't have this stuff, it's really easy to get somewhere. So how about we go ahead and get started, shall we? The only things that you'll need for the first trick is makeup brushes, eyeshadow primer, and an eyeshadow that's gonna match your hair or close to your hair. So I have this multicolor palette and it has a black color and a cool brown color. So I'll probably be mixing those two. So I just took this much. My temples are actually receding, so... So I'm gonna rub this primer on my temples. I'm gonna take this cool brown color It's very gradual and it's not, I'm not picking up a whole bunch of color and just plopping it on there. I'm just placing it very, very gently. It's already starting to look pretty good. Okay, and then I'm taking my fluffy brush, blending it out just like as if I'd be blending eyeshadow on my eyes. And that's it, that literally took me five minutes. And it doesn't really transfer that much, so we are good on this one. For our second genius trick to cover up my bald spots, I'm gonna be taking my waterproof mascara. So I'm gonna be taking a uh, one of these, like, one of these dispensable mascara brushes that you can probably get anywhere. Um, Amazon, I got this from Home Goods, I believe, or Marshalls. So I'm just gonna take this, I'm not taking a whole bunch, just gonna lightly uh, brush through it so I can grab onto some product. Just taking my receding hairline slash bald spots. So I'm grabbing onto my little tiny baby hairs and just putting some color on it. You can see that it kind of just covers up the bald spot really nicely. Now there is some color transfer, but I'm gonna show you how to fix that real quick. I'm gonna let it dry for a couple minutes and then spritz this little Urban Decay All Night uh, Makeup Setting Spray. I'm gonna let this dry for just a couple seconds. And that's really it. Can you tell I used to have a bald spot right there? Didn't think so. <laughs> My third genius trick is gonna be super simple. It's actually really funny because you can grab this ingredient from any grocery store, any health food store. And what I'm talking about is organic cacao powder. I got this from Home Goods. Yes, Home Goods. So don't confuse cacao powder with cocoa powder. So cacao powder is just cocoa beans ground up and made into a powder consistency. So it's just cacao beans, basically. Don't grab the Hershey's cocoa powder from Walmart or anything. <laughs> For me, I'm just gonna take a half a teaspoon. This is how much I took. For this trick, I'm gonna need this little floofy brush right here. Now, because this powder is much, much lighter than my hair color, I'm going to try to blend it in with my brush. Go another round. 
For people who have darker hair than what the cacao powder's color is, I would probably mix activated charcoal with the cacao powder. Unfortunately, I ran out of activated charcoal, so can't demonstrate that today. But if you have lighter hair, you can definitely do arrowroot powder or rice powder and then mix it with your uh, cacao powder. If you're blonde, you can definitely play around with uh, turmeric. So turmeric has that yellow tint and you can just mix and play around with it until you get the right match for your own hair color. <sighs> I smell like a cookie. So the fourth genius trick is actually it has two parts. When you tie your hair up, like I do right now, I have big curly hair. What I really like doing is basically covering my temples or my hairline with this hair. I'm taking a couple bobby pins like this, put bobby pins so that my hair can just stay in place. See how it's like staying in place and it's kind of covering my hairline? I do this when I go to work and I'm just feeling lazy and I don't want to show off the fact that I have bald spots because I'm pulling on my hair so much. So this is perfect. And then the second part of this genius trick is a simple tug. So again, I'll show you on this side. My scalp is kind of exposed. So I'm just pulling very gently. My next genius trick is going to involve hair extensions. So I'm taking my two clip weft extensions. Try to blend these extensions really well so that my bald patch doesn't really show that much. So I've sectioned off my part right here and as you can tell, it's at an angle. Now because I've clipped it in going this direction, the hair is naturally gonna fall towards my face this way. What I'm gonna be doing is covering my little bald patch right here with the extensions that I clipped in. So I'm just gonna be covering it like this. I know, these are really long. <laughs> but for demonstration purposes, this is definitely working for me. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and check out these videos right there. Thanks so much for stopping by and I'll see you later.